<laughs> now that it's almost quarter after. Hey, everybody, <laughs> you're here at the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Working Group for Chaos. I'm Elizabeth. I will change my name because I forgot to do that. Um, and I'm a shooter. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's good to see everybody here today. I'm going to share my screen as I do. Um, we've been talking about pumpkin spice all morning. Um, not all morning, but for a little while we've been talking about it and we decided we should apply the same level of uh what's the word zeal maybe <laughs> that people have about pumpkin spice to open source so yeah i think i think it's a it's going to be a trend next year you wait and see and chaos will have started it pumpkin spice badging or something like that i don't know how pumpkin spicy are you of course You're really not. <laughs> Yeah, I swear this is just coffee. I I feel yeah. I'm, I'm I, there's nothing else in here. Okay, but. I was like, which open source project is this? <laughs> We're gonna start one, and it's just you know what? Oh my gosh, I actually just did have this thought because we were looking for a list of all the pumpkin spice things you can buy. We should just make that and open source it, and have people just as they find stuff in the wild, just put it up. I'm doing it. Okay, I'm doing it. Well, I was just thinking there was a post in I think it was the to do group of a very simple how to tell people what open source is but it was done in the context of apple pie oh so yeah there be a sequel on contributing or the chaos things <laughs> related to a pumpkin pie I actually wrote that script for that video <laughs> Oh, it was yeah. of, was it a chaos video? I'm sorry. No, no, I, I can't remember was, where I saw it. No, it was an all in video, but I also helped okay. that that project too. So um yeah, we're really happy that it worked out. I had nothing to do with the video part though, though. They made it look all pretty. So yeah, I love I, I thought that was like just an easy way to explain, but um yeah, I'm actually absolutely gonna do this pumpkin spice thing as well. For like a real you need a real life place to, you know, have people contribute. So Anyway, yeah. And I was already I was already on Google trying to type in pumpkin spice open source. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried okay? to find the GitHub org, but it's already taken. <laughs> Someone has an org, a whole org dedicated to pumpkin spice. It might be a username. I didn't look at the type, but yeah, there's a pumpkin. There's a GitHub.com slash pumpkin spice. Yeah, serious. Sign me up to that org. I I will be a part of that. I could drop a link to the to the chat here. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. You threw oh wait, wait, what'd you put in here? Uh just I got some Moodle updates which are positive. Like I got some things done. Oh good. Oh yay. Okay. Cool. Um well yeah let's just go ahead and do we want to talk about I tell you what, since these since onboarding is kind of related to Moodle, I'm gonna move that down here. All right. Yeah. And um, I don't know if we have an update on this or not. Um, Yiga, I don't know. I don't know if Victoria's here either. Yiga, you want to give an update on this? Okay, sure. Um, so Victoria is not here, but we do have uh, myself, Victoria, and we have a new person that joined us. So yay. Um, and she has helped us to work on documentation um victoria and myself have also done um if you look at the spreadsheet let me see if i can get it right now um we've done some work on the website sorry give me one minute okay and stuff is still going on um so we've also done i'm sorry i'm trying to assess the I, you know what? I should have pulled that up before the meeting. That's my fault. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. I totally put you on the spot, too. You probably didn't even know you were on the agenda today. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. You can drop it in here it, later if you want. That's fine. Yes, I've already seen it. Um, I was just trying to like get the link so that everybody can open it and follow through with it. Is this it? Um, so here's the link. Um, that's the project board, but that's not. Yeah. Oops. 
Here it is. Is this it? Yes, that's like the spreadsheet. So yeah. stuff has already, uh, you know, gone on. Um, we have a new member that has done like the documentation and whatnot on the those the sheet most especially and we've also gone ahead to if you look at um the there's there's new things if you look at it on the location aspect of it so that was done on the website like on the home page of the website and then the actual result is also here um so if you also look at the spreadsheet there's been a lot of changes to you know the way it was done initially so that's because um, Victoria had also, you know, gone ahead to do her own um, Google Doc. So we kind of like merged it together and put it in one, just so that we're not working in different places. So um, that's currently where we're at. Okay. And it's a really, really like, it's really huge. So we're taking it like in bits and pieces. So if there's anybody that, you know, kind of like does like accessibility and whatnot and knows what to do, yeah, sure. Like they're all welcome to try in and you know weigh in on it. I'm so curious. That's, that's are you? Um, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, I was just going to ask: Are you all doing like just the A level first and then double A, or how are you taking it? Like doing all uh, all three A A A and A A A by section, or how? Like what's your um, procedure? I guess. So we're going from the different pages of the website literally so we're finishing like if we're doing home page if one person is doing home page the other person is like taking another page of the website so that that way we're not um doing what the other person has done got you okay yes so because for every page there'll be different levels of you know things that need to be done depending on what the the tools that we're using um you know highlights on the websites that is not available Oh, that's not there. I don't know if I if that explains it. Yep. That totally so the tools does. that we're using, depending on what they highlight, yes, that's what we now drop in here and say, oh, this one needs to be done. This is what um we're lacking on the chaos website and stuff like that. So for now, we're currently working on the chaos website itself. We haven't gone into like the DI badging website at all. So yeah. that's where things are right now. Um Awesome. And then once you find something, are you going to wait until the whole thing is finished and then open up issues or did you already start? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're just going to wait. We're, we're going to have to do like everything. Yes. Because okay. it's been, it's, a, it's really huge. So it's like steps. It's in gotcha. steps. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Um, Yeah, and some of some of that I'm I'm seeing too, like just with the contrast, just as like a high level thing. Cause we use a theme, so whoever fixes this is gonna have to know how to go into the code and do that. I think, so we'll have to sort some of that stuff. So it might there might be some like deeper things to be fixed. Um, yes. Yeah. So yes. That's <laughs> down the road though, <laughs> way down the road. <laughs> yeah. So that's why it was also, if you look at the spreadsheet, it was also arranged like in content creator, like how easy is this going to be to fix? Is this going to be like a content thing? Is it a design thing? You know, just so yeah. that we know where we're, the kind of issues that we're assigning to people and stuff like that. So that's exactly. like what yeah. it is, give and take. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much for doing this. I'm I'm in love with this project. Thank you. I'm gonna drop the spreadsheet. You, Victoria as well, and everybody on the same sounds like. Yeah, I feel like this is just so important. Especially yeah. you know, for like we're trying to help projects center DEI better. So maybe we even want to kind of document our process on how we did this and how we went, you know, like for other projects that want to do the same. Um, even though it is a big project, I mean, it, you can break it up into smaller chunks, like you said. So mm -hmm. um, I think that would be yeah, a I think that'll be nice. series of blog posts or something. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be nice. Definitely that'd not too 
more work. So like, that's not my goal here. And then Yiva can write all the blog posts and then Victoria can, no, I, will do that. I do think it's helpful for other communities. So. Yeah, yes, sure. Does anybody have questions for Yiga on our accessibility audit? I don't. I'm just excited. I think it's just to see the progress and to see it moving forward is very exciting. Yeah, it's great. Uh, thank, thank you so you. much. Yeah. Thank you, Yiga. Thank you. Okay, let's go on then to Moodle. Sean has an update, it looks like. Yes. Yeah, I do. So for, for some time, I was um, actually struggling with, ooh, can I share real quick? Um, I was struggling with the basic configuration of Moodle Cloud, and I've gotten, I've blown through that uh, difficulty. Now I'm working with the challenge of uh, finding the right window to share. Dear Lord, there we go. Okay. Um, so what, uh, what I hadn't been able to figure out is how to get this create new account button on there. And um, so I've got that configured so we can point people to the site. We don't have, have any content fully developed yet, but we can point people to the site. They can create an account and then select a course. Um, the one course, since I won't, I won't do that right now because there's nothing that you would see, but the Chaos Hello World open source court, uh, course that uh, Matt created, and I'm using Matt's credentials. Yes, that's true, um, is, is the only one. So that's that's kind of good to know we'll need to make and, and then i don't would this fall under more of so is this kind of a small update for dei and this will fall more under the education working group elizabeth do you think or um, some yeah, of each yeah i think a little of each i think there is some crossover because it touches on like newcomer experience and i know there's folks in here that are interested in kind of helping with this project as well so that's why i dropped the the update in here in the DEI okay. meeting. We don't have yes. like an education meeting, really. We just have the channel. Okay. The channel so. Okay. So what um, one thing that um, I think we may have two two kinds of courses. We may have courses that follow a calendar that people go through together, and we may have self paced courses as well. So I don't know. We we should plan for that. And then the only other thing I wanted to bring up here is we should do a little advanced thinking around um, course courses under the courses section. You can manage categories, um, add categories. And so I think derive, devising a set of categories, which I think I've seen a spreadsheet that may be able to be the starting point for that. Um, like there, I think Augur would be a category or software. Um, so maybe software is a category and I give it an ID of one. Uh, and then I've created that category and let me just create another category under software called Augur and I've called category, oops, category name. Isn't it fun to watch me type? Are you having a good time? I know I'm enjoying it because I'm the center of attention. <laughs> Um, <laughs> You're good at typing. <laughs> so yeah, so the thing is, the so, thing is, I uh, I like so like I like it. I like the noise when somebody is typing, but it's kind of funny, Sean. You, you there is no noise coming from your your keyboard. <laughs> oh, you don't hear the keyboard noise? Yeah, I don't. Wow, no. I have a clicky keyboard too because I love clicky keyboards, and so yeah, I, <laughs> I love Katie's rolling kind of her eyes. Uh, I love one of those Elizabeth male dork nerds. In. Like Elizabeth's own. <laughs> yeah, so, I love it. <laughs> so yeah. like, these, those are, yeah, those are, so like, these are a couple, um, uh, uh, 
probably um like, like uh, uh you'd have another top level for like um introductory introductory courses or like uh or maybe just like chaos or i don't know chaos metrics chaos metrics might be a category um Something like that. Like these are obviously just, um, I think these are categories that persist or would be useful. And so um, what would be great is if I was able to make someone else and, you know, make anyone who's interested in helping to develop the categories an administrator for the Moodle site. And then multiple of us can enter categories and uh, then we can sort of sort them in a meeting like this at some point. And, and I think, so I think all you would need to do is um, go to that link, create new account, which now I'll do. Apparently there's a, this is Moodle Cloud. So this is really basically their privacy policy. I agree, next. I think oh, I, I I missed a checkbox. Uh, great, my new account. I don't know if there's a, let me just check. There might be an email verification that I need to click. Yiga has her hand raised. Can she? Yes, go for it. Yes. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Um, so I just wanted to point out, Elizabeth, that, you know, in the education meeting, um, one of the things that we wanted to also um, surface for older members was for more people well, older members to be able to be the ones to do this, you know, like to register and also to upload courses when they're live so that that way um, it's distributed. The functions of everybody, the functions of creating like onboarding courses are not with uh, just one person in the sense that, you know, like reducing the workload kind of thing. Right. But also making exactly. sure that it's older members, yes, I just wanted to surface that. So I think the flow that I'm trying to show on their verification email is um, on the slow side. So um, perhaps we can proceed with another topic while I wait for that, because I can't log in until the confirmation email arrives in my inbox. Um, yeah, that's totally fine, Sean. Thank you. Let's go on. Let's go on ahead. And then I'll just, but the idea would be, I think when you basically, if people go create accounts, then I can start to make um those people admins if like so anyone could go here sign up create their account and then um i would just go in as the only existing admin and start making other people admins so then exactly what you described can start to happen where people can begin to sort of sketch out courses classify them create categories etc um yes uh, okay i was gonna say maybe the you can make um Yiga, myself, and I, I can yeah, can I I can also create accounts administratively. Um, so if if you put your emails that you want the accounts sent to, I could just go in and create them. Okay. Maybe anybody who wants an email or wants an uh, admin account on on uh, Moodle Cloud, just uh, put your name, name and email in the notes and right here and I will create these while we continue the remainder of the meeting. There you go. 
clicky click. <laughs> Elizabeth is today a birthday or something. It Happy is. birthday, Elizabeth. It is. Thank you. Thank God. you. What do you do next year when you turn 30? <laughs> yes, yeah, Sean, you are my favorite person today. Thank you. <laughs> what about me? Who just realized it was your birthday? <laughs> it is. Thank you, Enoch. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's also. Um, Thank you. I, I, was curious. I, I, I don't know if any of you have ever heard Matt explain that sometimes people think he's Tony Hawk because he looks like Tony Hawk. So yesterday or sometime recently tony hawk's son married bean cobain kurt cobain and courtney love's child nice wait tony tony hawk the older tony hawk tony hawk's son oh son oh okay. yeah so it's not gross yeah <laughs> i was like wow that's a, that's a big difference okay yeah get it tony i don't know yeah. all right okay um yeah so if you can add us as admins that would be great yeah um, and then um, we do have some topics started here, so maybe we can add those into this peculiar. Are you on here? I thought you were, but I don't see you now. Oh, maybe you dropped off. Uh, uh, like maybe we can add that somewhere in here. I think we decided to maybe change this because we're going to use Moodle for everything. So maybe we could use yeah. this. I'll just put a comment in here. I don't want to go. Oh, I'm view only anyway, because I'm logged in under this one. OK, I wonder if I can comment. Oh, I can't. OK. OK, well, we'll just put this in here that we need to some high level categories. I'm um, just as some general buckets um, like. My dog is dreaming. Can you hear this? Yeah, yeah, my dog does that too. It's so weird. Like, roo, roo, like running. Roo, roo, roo. She's yeah. running in her sleep and like kind of whining, but I hope it's a good dream that she's not running for her life. That would be terrible. I don't I don't know if it, you know, you never know if you should wake them up or not or let them go. And I always wonder too if you do wake them up in a dream, do they think you're some kind of like magician because you've like pulled them out? I don't know. Anyway, these are the things I think about sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. yeah. yeah. Well, my, my dog's know. sitting. <laughs> my dog's wondering why I am not taking him for a walk right now. Maybe that's what she's dreaming about because I didn't take mine either. So she's probably yeah. like, since I don't get a real walk, I'm just going to have to dream it, I guess. Anyway, OK. Sorry. If only we could lose calories that way. <laughs> really? No doubt. Ria, I'm with you. Please work on that technology for me, will you? Surely you you can, you all can do that, right? At HP, you can. You got the the skills. That would be amazing. Um, I think that might be beyond all of us. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what, Ria, if anybody can do it, it it's you. It's okay. you. Yeah, I believe Ria can do it. We have faith in you. Um, okay, so what am I doing here? We're do we okay? So we are gonna maybe make some topics. That's what we said. All right. I'm sorry. I'm tr I'm just going back and forth now. I'm not even being helpful. The volunteer form. There is a volunteer form. Um, I think we were gonna maybe make one more change, which is to add these topics into the form in case people wanted to volunteer for something specific. But we haven't done that yet because we don't we don't have a final list of uh, topics. So if you would like to um, help out with this and you're on this call, amazing, we would love that. Oh, she did put it in here, oh, Never mind. I tell you what, Peculiar is like 10 steps ahead of me all the time, every day, I love it. So yeah, if you wanna um, essentially- Do you have a link to this page? Can you put yes. that in the chat? I absolutely will. Thank you. Um, Okay. So yeah, there it is. Oh, I did not do that. I sorry. I did not put that. What am I doing? This should go to everyone. I just sent that to Yiga only. <laughs> Yiga, you're the you have to volunteer for everything since yeah, you're the only one that has a form. Okay. And as you can as you can see, we really want newcomers to also 
participate. So even if you're new to chaos, you can help us go through the material and make sure that it makes sense and that it's helpful and um, see what we're missing. Something that you had, you know, you're not sure about and we don't have any courses or any information about. Those are the kind of contributions that would be fantastic. Also, you can help us record things. You can help us, um, you know, test things out, whatever, whatever we need. Yeah, Mary Blessing, go for it. Okay, that was a mistake, but I could still share something. The email, is it so necessary? I don't know, some people are really skeptical about sharing their emails, right? Uh, would, would it still be needed or the Slack handle could just, you know? We, yeah, that's a good question. Um, you're asking, if I understand, you're asking if we still do need to collect emails since we have Slack handle and GitHub. I think so. It, I'm yeah. Just, yeah I'm Emails just, that are easier to get to, I think. And it's like kind of a nice backup in case people aren't on Slack or, you know, maybe don't check it as often, something like that. So um, I think maybe just as a backup. Yeah, what that makes think? sense. Sure. Enoch is definitely doing some videos content for devs. Yeah, Enoch, you've been volunteered, voluntold. I said Enoch off. Voluntold. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just your it's just your your stellar personality and your your aura that we we love. We want it in the front front and center. <laughs> you really want me to talk. Yeah, and and we know you don't have much to do anyway, so it's it's fine. You have tons of time, right? <laughs> All right, I will see how that comes up. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, I meant to put this up here. Thank you, Yiga, for that reminder. We have, um, yeah, so anything else on the onboarding course? Oh, sure, Mary Blessing, we can share these. No problem at all. There you go. Um, any other? comments I yeah any other comments on the onboarding course I feel like I've not been very good at facilitating today I'm very sorry it's kind of been a, no, it's, it's been a winding I, I, I think <laughs> I, I, I think I was just yeah, saying it's your birthday <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's your, it's your fault in it because you brought that up and now I'm all I'm all flustered with the attention um we have well we do have 10 minutes left what else should we be talking about? Oh, yes, let's talk about the thing that I haven't done yet. I have not put that up here. Anita, I'm so sorry. I'm going to move it back up here. I told Sean earlier, like, that's that's the only bad thing about doing the agenda is that, you know, I yeah. have to do things I haven't done yet. So <laughs> I've, I've, I've added Yiga and Elizabeth to the site administrators at chaos.moodlecloud.com. So they're obviously, um, if, if, if you have questions, about where to go for stuff but basically here let, let me share my screen maybe briefly one yeah. more time yeah get on um, that train. Uh, i think i got it okay so basically when you when you log in as an administrator this is the first thing that you see you'll which is not much this link here site administration is where you want to go and then across the top probably courses um which gives you the opportunity to create categories or define courses and just play with that like and i think we're at this stage just experiment and see you know what you can figure out and if you have questions um we can maybe ask those questions in the site in that education working group channel but you those two users you have the power to create other administrators as well as the power to create courses so if other people sign up and we want to give them the power to create courses, any any of the four of us now, Matt, you, me, and Yiga can do it. Um, so we're we're sort of getting getting off to the races on the creating content capacity uh, space. Thank you. And then oh, I guess I guess one other thing I'll point out is if like other people could go and create their own account, and then we just go under users and um permissions just click site administrators 
and any users that are created who are not site administrators will be on the right and we just highlight and add them. So um, you, you don't have to do what I just did, which is I created your accounts for you, but <clears throat> other people could just go sign up and, and rock. So. That is awesome. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, no, it took a while, but. No, it's good. I mean, you like, you know, we got there. You and we got there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate you working on that, Sean, because I know you do oh. have other stuff in your life. Yeah, no, it was really it's just like one of those things where it's just like you have to Google the right question to get the answer to how to enable people to create accounts. And it was surprisingly like not straightforward. <laughs> yeah, that seems super weird. Like you yeah. would be able to be able It was to straightforward as soon as I found the right instructions after learning the right words to Google. Um Mary Blessing may have a question. Uh, yeah, I, is it really a question? I know when we started this um planning, we decided to go in module, but I think we had issue with the capacity of um participant or users it could allow. So I don't know if that has been resolved now. Oh, for the number of users available? Yeah. Yeah, I have I have paid for an account and oh. I I think we have 150 users available, but we can up that as we hit it. So as like if we hit that cap, we can just increase our subscription. Um and it's not terribly expensive for a nonprofit, like it costs $180 for a year of 150 users and it's it's less per user as you increase the number of users so i don't see a, i don't see there being a problem for the foreseeable future mm. with creating the users that we need to create mm. okay sure and, if, sure and if yeah and i have i did turn on captcha to try to prevent like robot users from getting created mm, makes sense makes a lot of sense That's a good point. That's a good point, though. Yeah, Matt and I discussed that um, at some point. And he's like, basically, it's easier for me to get reimbursed for software purchases. So I just buy the software on the project. And I did. Thank you for doing that. No sweat. And if we have to bump up, I, I will actually be really excited about that. <laughs> that'll be a good problem. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Rhea's got a hand up too. Well, I'm just like hand up watcher dude today. <laughs> hey, well, I didn't want to interrupt the previous conversation. So, hey, I, are we finished with that topic? Yes. I think so. So I want to go back to the Google form to sign up for content and onboarding course creation. I, I'm just not quite sure, what do you mean by designs for the onboarding course? I think that, I, oh, go ahead, John. I, I interpreted it as, two, well, I think it means two things. I think it means I do that we should have some help around like a common branding opening page and stuff like that. So I think there's just some basic design. So the courses, have a similar initial appearance at least so it doesn't look like this chaotic mess but then i think okay. i also think that yeah i know right <laughs> so i think so i think we need like a person or two to think that part through i also think design means actually creating content and designing online content and if you have experience or interest in building those that those skills or experiencing that more that's the that's the I think the bigger amount of work is over there, but there's some work at the front end so that somebody creating a new course has some sort of template set up. So, you know, imagine all of us designing our own layout and organization from scratch. We would have 50 different courses that look 50 different ways. So are you envisioning PowerPoint decks or recorded TikTok? YouTube style videos that are three minutes long or is I, my, it the world is our oyster here? I, I think, well, so I think the world is your oyster, you, you know, be creative. My experience with online content is if I break everything down so that there's no, no video is longer than three to five minutes, seven minutes at the outside, people watch them more and learn more. So it's like, useful to create tight videos um not 
something I always do because sometimes it just doesn't break down that easily. Um, and so I think depending on the scope of the course, uh, you might have five or 30 of these three to five minute videos that go through different topics piece by piece. Um, or you might have like two that just cover an area that's really introductory. Like I think sometimes less content is more for these online courses because people will actually finish them. But I, 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 I don't think we're putting any sort of hard, hard controls around that. I just think look and feel and approach and like using, like if we're going to break it down into sections, we should call them units or modules or components or we should call them all the same thing. Um, we should have all the same headers when we're using PowerPoint. That that kind of stuff, I think, just helps when we've got multiple people building courses. It just helps give a sense that you're in a single place and not in a mess. And Rhea, just a, a little bit of context of where this kind of came from or how it evolved to this is we used to do once a month um, an onboarding newcomer call that was an hour long and Ruth and I would just shove information at people for an hour and it was um, everything about chaos, but it was very overwhelming and not helpful at all, really. I think um, it just made people almost feel worse. Like they now they know what they don't know, you know. So um, we decided to to try this and by like exactly what Sean just said, breaking it up into really small chunks that people can go through on their own, at their own pace whenever they have time, and that that like I feel like Moodle <clears throat> hopefully will allow them to kind of also keep track of like what they've watched and just have it all in one place for them. So that's kind of how this evolved to this point. Does that make sense? It does. I think I'm not enough of an expert on chaos to be driving content at this stage, but I'd be happy to be a test bed. I'm not sure if that falls into design work or if that falls into other work or if I think that would be I other could be yeah. as a test bed for uh, whether or not it resonates or makes sense, I'd be happy to do that because it will also sort of force me to take the time to watch them because <laughs> I have lots and lots of bookmarks of things that I intend to watch and never quite get around to. Right. And that's that's also an issue, too, like, you know, having so much out there and that people just don't really it's kind of spread out. It's hard to find. And so, yeah, definitely you can fill this out and just say you have a skill needed, not here. And your skill is testing and being a newcomer. That's your skill. <laughs> yeah, Mary Blessing, go ahead. All right, sure. Um, I'm just seeing the option for um, editing recorded videos, right? And would that be like actual editing of the videos? Because um, I do have someone in the community. I know he's like good at that. I, I, I think I was, you know, talked about him to you in time with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we, if that's what it means, then I, I think um, this, this person would really be a useful, um, it, like useful, he will be useful to, to this, right? Um, on body course editor. Yeah, definitely point, point him to this form. That would be great. Yeah, yeah, thanks. And then Yiga, did you just have your hand up? Oh, yes. I just wanted to say that that's exactly what that was for, because um, editing really does a lot for videos. And um, so when a video is properly edited, it kind of like sits down better with the audience because they know how to just put things in the most interesting ways. So, yes, that's what that was for. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Yiga. And look at us right at time. So wow, we're so good. We are good. We even started a little bit late and we still ended on time. So that's how good we are. Yeah. I hope yeah, everybody has a good yeah, yeah, us. Minutes to celebrate Elizabeth Bart Wall. Yes, please um, <laughs> celebrate in your manner of choosing on my behalf. I would love that, whether it be a, a I was, average or I, I was like, we're going to throw some good compliments here for your day. <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> you do not have the time. Happy birthday again, Elizabeth. Uh, Thank you. Uh, hey, um, Enoch, Enoch, do you want to chat real briefly right after this? Do you have a minute? No problem. We're staying on this call.